In this video, we'll create a responsive Bootstrap 4 social navigation menu. So let's go ahead and check it out here before we get started with the tutorial. So here on the right hand side, we have the mobile version, which has the drop down icon here with the social icons to the left. And at the full screen width, we're going to have the social icons to the right. And as you can see here, it's going to resize at the 576 pixel mark with bootstrap which is the small screen I'll also show you how you can change that to 768 with the medium size screen in the description of this video will be the bootstrap for social nav starter files where we'll have the version we'll be working on and then the finished version here on the right so the version that we're going to be working on in the tutorial I'm going to be using the free program called sublime text as my text editor and I'm going to have it open with Google Chrome while we're building it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside and then let's make sure that I have index.html connected to Google Chrome here which I do and then we can get started with our first tag so as you can see in the head section we have all of the necessary bootstrap uh, jQuery and the font awesome link that's gonna allow us to add the social icons so let's start with our nav class here and we'll say nav class nav bar nav bar dash fixed top because our nav will be fixed at the top of the screen when we add content and then nav bar dash light which is the light nav bar with bootstrap and then nav bar expand sm for small screens or 560 576 pixels and then navbar template. So if you want it at 768, just change SM to MD for medium size screens. So let's go ahead and add our uh, logo here or the text where it says bootstrap with navbar brand. So A class navbar brand, and then we'll have our link here. So href, and I'll just do a blank link with the hashtag. And then in between our A tags, I'll just write bootstrap. Okay, then we can close out our link. And now if we refresh, there we have Bootstrap displaying. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna add with our links will be the social icons on the right. Okay, so let's start a new div class for our icons here. So this is gonna be div class D dash flex flex row and then order two and order sm3 so inherently with bootstrap flex it will be the second item in order after our navbar brand and after it flexes past the small screen width it will become the third so now let's create our unordered list for our social navigation items. So we'll say UL class navbar dash nav and flex dash row. Okay, and then we can close out our unordered list and we'll add our list items. So we'll say LI class nav item similar to regular navigation items and then a class inside of our list item here nav dash link and then we'll add some spacing with px2 which is the equivalent to about a uh, half m or rem which is eight pixels okay and then right here you can add your Facebook link for example I'm just gonna leave this link blank and add in the font awesome icon so I class F A B F A dash Facebook okay and then close out your I tag as well as the link and now if we go and refresh there we have our first social media link appearing. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it to save us a little time with the tutorial. And all we need to change after that will be the names of the social media outlets. So we'll go with Twitter for the second one. 
and then YouTube, and then Instagram. Also, if you go to fontawesome.com, or just do a Google search for Font Awesome icons, you can use any of their icons in here. Okay, so let's drop down underneath our unordered list and add our bootstrap collapsible menu button. Okay, so we'll use the HTML5 tag button and we'll give it a class called navbar toggler. And then we'll say type button and data toggle collapse. And then we'll add our data target for the navigation ID. So data dash target, hashtag for the ID, and navbar, nav dropdown with a capital N in nav and a capital D in dropdown. Okay, so if we refresh, we'll start to see a little bit of our button here, but we need to add our icon inside of it with three bars there, the hamburger menu. So we'll say span class nav bar dash toggler dash icon. Okay, and then you can close out your span. And if we refresh, here we have our toggle icon. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just add our regular uh, bootstrap navigation items here. So we'll create a div class and we'll say collapse and navbar dash collapse. And then we'll have the order opposite to the social icons with order three and then order SM two. Because at full width it will be uh, after our navbar brand but before the social icons and then we'll use the ID that we reference for our data target navbar nav drop down okay and then close out your div and now we can add our unordered list for our navbar okay so we'll say ul class navbar dash nav and then to have our links off to the right, we'll use ML Auto as opposed to MX Auto, which centers it. And then close out our UL. And then our first uh, list item will be the home link, which as you can see here is active since it's darker than the rest of the links. Okay, so LI class nav item active and then inside of our list item we'll have our link so a class nav dash link and then we'll add our link here so href I'll leave this blank and then close out your link and your list item and add home here for the first link. Okay, so if we refresh, there we have our home link there. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it for the rest of our links here. All we need to do is get rid of active for the ones that follow. Okay, and then I'll just change the second one to features then we have pricing and the last one is contact okay so that's all of our HTML so if we refresh here we have the finished version of our bootstrap for social navigation menu so I want to thank you for sticking around with me through the tutorial please remember to like this video subscribe and turn on your notifications then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.